Craig here and in today's video I'm going to be demonstrating how you can generate the markup schema code to apply to your local business websites. Now the markup code we're going to be covering is the NAP which is name, address and phone number. Now if you work with WordPress like I do almost 100% of the time, WordPress has the capability to add widgets to the sidebar and the footer area etc. So I always recommend that you insert the NAP details in the footer widget area. Now I'm a strong believer that your NAP details should be found on each and every page and I'm sure Google wants to see this too, especially when it comes down to a local business. Because let's say a visitor lands on a page deep within your site, well it's important that the visitor can locate business name, address and phone number. Now what I have here is just a fake business name, address and phone number but it's not using the markup code that Google looks for. So if I go over to my widgets and it's in the third widget you'll see I just added some basic code and that's it. Now if I test my website using this bookmarklet which will it pulls my URL and heads over to Google's rich snippet testing tool. So this is where you would see if there was any structured data that Google was retrieving from my web page. And as you can see, there's nothing. So there's no markup data saying that this is a local business. So I'm going to close this. And what I want to do is show you how you can go and generate your code. So the easiest way to do this is head over to microdatagenerator.com. I'll put a link below the video. Now this site is not an official website. The official website is schema.org, but there is no easy generator tool. This site is great for people like myself who are not very technical and we don't really understand code, but we can simply fill in the fields and generate the code. So click on local business generators. And here you'll have several categories that you can pick from. So if your business service is not in the ones available, you can come over to local business NAP. And this is the very basic one where, well, let me just show you. So on this one, we simply enter the business name, address, city, state, zip, and phone number, and hit submit. The only difference is with the other ones, and you know, if you requested to have it one created, you get the option to include your business map URL and it also adds some additional code so that when Google sees your marked up code it knows the type of business service that your website or business is about. Now I'm going to show you how to generate the code using the basic one then after that I will show you a way to work around generating the code for a service if it's not listed here. So I'm going to load up the local business schema nap. I'm going to press pause and fill in my details. Okay, so I've entered in my bogus details here, but I wanted to point a couple of things out. Now, I'm located in Ontario, and I'm just going to use the ON. And the reason for that is because most of the citations and Google themselves, they don't use the word Ontario, they use the ON. And I'm also going to make sure that I enter in my phone number how Google has it and if I have citations out there already I need to make sure that my phone number is using the same formatting. So I've entered in that and we're going to hit submit and here is the code that we need to add to our website. Now before copying this I want to point out that this line right here if we had selected you know um, dentistry or dentist it would it would have a link here saying schema.org slash dentist so that basically tells Google what type of service this is. Now this is telling us that it's a local business, but if we can pinpoint it to the actual business service, I'm sure that's going to help. So quickly moving along, I'm going to copy my text, come back to my widget area, and I'm going to press Control V and paste it in and hit save. And what we'll do is we will hit refresh, and you can see now it's changed, it's kind of formatted differently. But if I run it through the Google Rich Snippet testing tool, and I scroll down, you will see that we it knows it's a local business, and the business name is here, the phone number, 
item one, which is item one down here, the address, we have our fake business address. Now that is markup code. Now I quickly want to cover how you would go about if you want to say, for example, you were an optician. So coming back to local business generator, for example, there's no optician here. So what I'm going to do is let's jump over to dentist. And when we scroll down, the only additional field is this map URL. And I'm going to show you how you can generate your map URL in a moment. But what I want to do is up here we have corresponding dentist page on schema.org. So let's click on this and it will open up in a new window. And basically it gives you all the details that relate to this, all of the markup code details that you can use. Now, as you can see, it's kind of dug down, like we have medical organization and then dentist. So what if I jump back a page and go to medical organization? So here we have the different organizations. So here's optician. So I could go to optician. And the only real thing I need to know is this right here, schema.org slash optician. Now, if you recall, when I copied my code a moment ago, it said schema.org slash local business. So I would simply replace local business with optician. But there is numerous different business services that you can locate here. So let's say you were auto in the automotive industry, perhaps, I don't know, oil changes or something. It probably doesn't have oil changes. But here you see we have auto body shop, auto dealer, auto parts store, etc. So you can be telling Google precisely what your business is about. So let's quickly jump and show you how I recommend you retrieve your business URL. So what I've done is I've searched Ottawa opticians. Now I need to find the, the map URL of my business. Now, if my business was listed in this seven pack, I could simply click over here and then click on the map and it would take me to the map. Now, you know, let's say I was Albert, Op oops. Let's say my business name was Albert Opticians and I wasn't ranked on here. Well, no problem. I could simply come to the maps and we'll paste in Albert Opticians. You're going to have to make sure it finds the correct business location. This was still in Ottawa here, and this is the business location. So if I wanted to, I could copy the URL of this up here and paste that in. Now, I did read some other place that the old Google Maps in the URL, they use a CID number, which used to relate to your old Google Places account. So if you wanted to retrieve that URL, you simply come down to the question mark click on return to Google, uh, return to classic Google Maps. And we are going to, it's still got the same business location here. We are going to click on the hyperlink and we are going to copy the link. Because if I scroll somewhere in here, <laughs> here, so here is the CID number. So it's entirely optional whether that helps or not. I have no idea, but you would retrieve that the map URL and come back over to your schema generator and paste that in there. Fill in these details, hit submit, and it's going to give you your the code to paste into your website. Now I'm sure that may have been a bit confusing and I do apologize, but this step is definitely something I recommend you do because it's something that Google looks for and Google wants businesses to do. Now, whether this is going to help you rank higher, I have no idea to tell you the truth. But what I do know is generally when you do stuff that Google wants you to do, they will reward you. And if you do stuff they don't want you to do, they will punish you. For example, if you go on Fiverr, generate a thousand spammy backlinks, well, sooner or later, they will punish you for that. Now, if they come across your website and notice that you've applied the appropriate, correct markup code for your local business, then perhaps they might reward you. Anyway, if you liked the video, hit the like button and share it with your friends if you think they'll benefit. And other than that, have yourself a great day.